Hit it pretty hard, but he didn't get it. And I was slow rolling it. Got it that time. Slow rolling that bait. Slow rolling that bait. <laughs> what do you do when the lake's up 30 feet high? Well, by golly, you go fishing. Exactly what you do. Exactly what you do. Ah, and you catch fish. I don't know what we're going to catch today. We're on 10 killer. This lake last week was 33 feet high. 33 feet high. That's a nice big old long fish out there. That fish is over 16 inches, so that would be a keeper uh, if you were fishing a tournament here. And uh, it's a nice big old big old fish. It's really pretty skinny male fish. I'm gonna. I've got two bites right there. Probably the same fish. I'm gonna turn right around and fish that again. We're gonna be going back in the tail ends of pockets. I went back in the tail end of one a minute ago. I just got out here about an hour ago and went back in the tail end of one pocket. I got two bites back there. I had another bite right then. I had two bites back there on a spinner bait. I might not put it on a crankbait, deep smoothie. And uh, I missed them both. They were over in 15 foot trees, but I, I got the bites up on top of the water. I saw the fish, they were both smaller than that one right there. But uh, when you get back in those trees and those mosquitoes will eat you alive. My arms turned into almost solid blood back there. But uh, what I'm really hoping to find and, and look around for, and I know some areas to look, but the lake has fallen nine foot in about a week. So the fish are on the move constantly. One of the things you do in falling water is you, you catch fish a lot on a crankbait. And if we, we might hit some of these open banks and fish with a crankbait, but a spinnerbait is just so good when you got this much cover in the water. But uh, I missed the fish and I thrown it right back in there and caught it. But now I had another little bite there. So, so we're gonna try to hit some open water banks. We're gonna get back in the trees, might throw some crankbaits. I might even get in some bluff areas because bluff areas, the fish just move up and down. They don't, uh, they don't really have to worry about moving too much. And we're gonna do a lot of looking and try to figure out where these fish are today and see if we can't have some fun out here on a flooded lake. Falling water is usually difficult to fish, especially when it's falling as much as this lake is falling. It's falling real, real fast. I had another little bite in there, in that exact same spot. under that boat dock. Good land. Maybe they're suspended out here. Huh. Huh. Little bitty rascal, but he was under there. That's why I'm missing some of them. He caught him in the eye. Smaller. Look how fat that little spot is. It's a little Kentucky bass. Spotted bass. Look at the belly on that guy, will you? <laughs> Not eight inches long been nothing out in the front of these boat docks. They've all been on that shady edge. Speaking out in the front of these boat docks, there's one right there. I'm gonna tell you what, this is not a place I'd expect to catch them. I mean, I would expect to catch them here after the spawn. I'd expect to catch them here after the spawn. <sighs> if the lake wasn't up like it is, with the lake up like it is, these big old fish like that should actually not be up in there. They should not be up in there at all. I guarantee you that's just crazy. That's a good fish though. He was in the front of the boat dock. Bye baby. I think that one big one I missed back here a minute ago was the spot. Kentucky bass. <laughs> Come here, little Kentucky bass. Little Kentucky bass. No, it's a large male. Another large head. Well, I fished quite a few of these, this commercial dock. I only had two bites, the other one was really a nice one. But uh, but I missed him. I had I hit it on a, a lucky sink worm. I picked that spinnerbait up just because it's a lot faster. I think you can catch them good on that lucky sink worm around these docks too. 
at these places where you have a little ditch running up through the trees there and then right out in front of it, obviously all the fish that run up that little ditch are gonna come back out here and they should hold up right on these trees right on the very end. It ought to be the place to catch them is like right here. But we really haven't found much fish like that. Uh, so the normal thing, had, had this water not come up like this, is the fish, after they get through spawning, they're gonna go out and they're gonna suspend in various places. One of the places they'd suspend, suspend would be around boat docks. So we're gonna, we're gonna give the, some boat docks some, a look here in a little bit too, because it just doesn't appear. We can't get way back in those woods because of the mosquitoes. <laughs> They're just absolutely too, too bad. This is one of the fields right here that I, I uh, was planning on catching some fish out of. I thought it would have a lot more grass in it than it has, uh, but it really doesn't have much grass at all, doesn't seem like, or I guess it was short, but it seems to me like most of the fish have pulled out of these areas. The uh, water was nine foot higher, so it's dropped nine feet. That's a tremendous drop, and it, that drop might have pulled a lot of the fish out of the tail ends that I expected to be here. They, they run to these tail ends with that water coming up. And they just keep going as the water rises. They keep going further back, further back, and further back. This is a perfect little place right there. You see the little ditch that comes in here? Change in elevation, that water goes up here. This is the ideal spot right here. And these outside bushes where those fish were way back up in there when that water was. You think about that water being nine foot higher, that's water right here, way up like where this boat's sitting. It's like as high as my head because uh, we're only sitting in, a, in two foot of water right here. Got it. I don't know if that's the one I had. It probably was, I think it's a Kentucky. I knew he was gonna come off. I knew he just barely hooked. Tried to get around here where I could swing him good. <laughs> was one under a dock, finally. Not a giant, but is that a spot? Well, that's a ragged looking fish. That's a spot, that's a ragged looking spot. Look at there, hooked outside the mouth. I've been missing quite a few fish today, and then I've been having a, a few. That fish has been attacked by a water turkey. See his back? That's a ragged looking fish right there. <laughs> they're laying right under those black floats, and they're not on all the docks. You have to fish several docks, it seems like, to get one to bite. I keep thinking I'll hit a stretch of docks and catch one off about every dock, but I'm missing a few too. You gotta have that bait just right, right at the bottom of those, right at the bottom of those floats. Come right through the bottom. Put a worm on it, got a bite on it. I may go try to fish some more commercial rocks. Those ones we fished didn't, didn't have much on them, but I did, I did catch one, one or two nice ones on them. Definitely a poisonous snake. There's one. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here. He's a mean little rascal. He's not very big. Probably a spot. Oh, large mouth. Another large mouth. Boy, look, he just barely hooked. You talk about barely catching him. Look at that. I put me a little twin tail trailer on there. These are pretty much all males that I'm catching. I don't know that I've caught a female fish. I'm not kissing them. Because <laughs> they look like boys to me. They don't look like girls. The docks have been really about the only place to do much good at all. And, and it's taken a lot of dock fishing to catch what I've caught. But I don't know, they just don't seem to be anywhere else. I'll get one off the bank every now and then, but boy, not very often. Fish bare banks, steep banks, flat banks. Took forever to get that fish to bite to come out of that tree. Yeah. <laughs> Looky there, he's hooked. Oh, he's barely hooked in the corner of the mouth. He did get it in his mouth. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have thrown and thrown and thrown. That wasn't even a good kiss. But, did get another fish to bite. <laughs> he come right out of the top of that tree just like he's supposed to, but I've drugged by a jillion of them. I mean, a jillion of them. I don't know why the fish are not, I mean, if they're, if they're not up there on the bank, which they're not, I mean, the only consistent place, and it's not been consistent, it's just been every now and then, is around the boat docks. I hit one little patch of boat docks this morning and had a few on it, and other than that, just a 
boat docks even haven't even paid off. That fish there jumps up there and just grabs it like he'd never seen a red man spinnerbait before. And I bet that he had never seen a red man spinnerbait. He's seen one now. And he's had a great kiss.